Hey there, how's it going? Good morning. Today is Monday, April 15th. It is about 53 degrees Fahrenheit here in Portland, Oregon, which is 11 degrees Celsius, kind of chilly. We got some uh, storm clouds out there. This is PDX, Portland International Airport. I am finally leaving North America after almost three months here. It is time, and the ultimate time to head to where I am going. So, I'm going to keep this as a mystery video. You'll find out where I'm going when I get there. I have a 10-hour flight, and then a 3-hour layover, and then a 1-hour flight to a country that I've been to before, but I've only been to the capital city. And so, uh, the plan here is to see more of the country outside of the capital. Really looking forward to it. It is going to be very interesting. So, uh, I am already uh, checked in. Just got to get through security. It is 11 a.m. My flight isn't until 2 p.m., so I have lots of time here. All right, let's do it. I got the TSA pre-check. Goodbye, Portland. As many of you know, I used to live here. That was from 2002 to 2009. But despite being 15 years ago, then I still have an Oregon driver's license. I have a car with Oregon plates. I have a storage space here in Portland. And friends and family. Speaking of friends, I saw my friend Sterling. Last couple of days. Okay, let's uh, investigate the other wing down here. So I wanted to uh, give a shout out to Norm, one of my viewers who now has my car parked in his driveway as I talked about there was a change of situation. I used to park my car at my friend Eric's house in Salem, but he is moving and so I can't park it there anymore. So I put the word out there and uh, got a bunch of responses and Norm is a 20 minute drive from the Portland airport. So that was super convenient, really a nice guy and definitely helping me out. All right. Uh, I'm getting hungry for some breakfast. Let's see what we got. Served until 10, so too late there. All right, it's looking on time so far. But I got a lot of time to kill here. So I'll drop a few hints before we arrive. My flight is with Delta and KLM. I'm not quite sure if it's like a shared flight or if the first one is Delta and the second one is KLM, but uh, if you know anything about KLM, then that will give you a good idea of where my layover is. All right, I might have to uh, settle for Starbucks if I want anything breakfast-like. So I decided to keep it light since I assume that there will be a meal soon after getting on the plane. So blueberry muffin, cheese danish, milk, 10 bucks for all that and the flight is $770 one way that includes luggage and seat selections and not that cheap but there weren't any cheap options. I was looking for like, you know, basically anything going to the continent that I'm going to, it would have been nice and cheap, and then I could have gotten a cheap flight from there to where I'm actually trying to go. I was actually super flexible with my destination, but uh, just nothing uh, cheap that I could find. You know, last minute I booked this two days ago. But 
I had credit card points with my Capital One card and that was 420 bucks worth. So that brought the price down to $350 worth of price. Burgerville, this is my favorite fast food restaurant. I don't go to McDonald's, Burger King, Carl's Jr., Wendy's, etc., but uh, I will go out of my way for Burgerville. The uh, shakes are amazing and also good burgers and everything. Okay, so time has passed. It is now 1.25 in the afternoon. My flight is at 2.15. I can see up ahead it says International Concourse D11 is where I'm headed. Let's uh, see what the line is looking like. Should be boarding pretty soon. Well, we got a plane out there. Not sure if that is it. This is not my flight. That's to Salt Lake City. That looks like it is it. Over there. And here we go. Looking forward to seeing what this plane is like. not going to tell you where I am quite yet. I will say where I am here at the airport at some point, but let's look for some clues and uh, 
try to figure it out. I think that was the plane, Delta. So, I am not certain if I am going through customs here or at the next city that I'm flying to because my bag is checked through I think that I would need to go through customs here even though I'm going to another country so there's a little clue okay the city was right there I'm not sure if I showed it or not all right, so uh, I kind of need to ask somebody to confirm because I'm just genuinely not sure if I'm going to exit or not. Let's try to find a uh, board with the flights, see if that helps me out. Looks like we got one up ahead. I might need to be in a different terminal or something. Flight departures. I do not see my flight on there, so... That probably means that I need to be in a different terminal. Okay, the traveling has begun, along with the confusion. What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? How do I get to wherever I need to be? Baggage hall exit. Okay, where's an information desk? All right, here's a, a good clue. Here's the hope. Hi there, I'm flying to Prague. Uh, do I need to exit and go through customs here or? No, okay. Uh, I just have to find when, what time you're flying and then just follow the, the, check the board and then you will, you will be flying. What's the disruption? Is that not? First it was of course the weather and okay. then the, we had some technical difficulties with the uh, uh, airport. I see. And KLM, it's just really the technical difficulties in the, in the tower. So okay. I see. Thank you. Okay, I actually had the time wrong. Let's see if it's up there now. Yes. C9. FGH T9. Let's see this way. Okay. Looks like I don't have to go through customs, which I'm actually kind of a little bummed about because I would rather get it out of the way because I have three hours here and it would be nice to get that done now and then not have to go through customs where I'm going next, but it is what it is. C. So, I guess there were disruptions due to both the weather, it was a very windy landing, and some sort of disruption with the uh, control tower. So we'll see if this is uh, going to be delayed or not, but this is a nice airport to be stuck in for a while. So. No big deal. Also, it is, I think, eight something in the morning, so I have all day, so no worries. And where I am is actually somewhere that if I got stuck here a day, 
that would be cool. I uh, haven't booked my accommodation yet for tonight. I will do that in the airport here once I get things confirmed that we're all good to go. Okay, let's uh, find an obvious clue and show you where I am. The first uh, clear indication I'll reveal for those who haven't figured it out yet from the uh, language. D gates. C up here. Oh. All passports. So it looks like maybe I am going through passport control. Yes. I suspected that I would be. <laughs> the Amsterdam experience. That is where I am. Schiphol Airport, Netherlands. So I'm now officially in the Schengen zone of Europe after passing through the customs. So, some time has passed. I met a guy in line there, American, and uh, we talked quite a bit in the line, and then he invited me for a beer. And uh, we talked a whole lot, and I learned a lot about his life story. So, uh, this guy, uh, Liam, from New Mexico, he's lived in various places, but uh, his wife is native Alaskan, and so he just moved to Juneau, Alaska, but he works on an oil rig, which is off the coast of Gran Canaria Island, Spain, the Canary Islands. And so he's just flying there to start his one month straight of work. So, uh, cool guy. And that helped kill a little time. All right, now I gotta find uh, my flight to where I'm going next. It is D Gate. And it has been delayed, but only by 10 minutes. So I got plenty of time still. About an hour. Man, this airport is busy. Definitely feeling the international vibes. Certainly a little part of me that would like to uh, pop into Amsterdam again, but been there lots of times. Was there a year ago. Where I'm going now, I've also been before, but it has been, let's see, I think maybe in 2018, and it is one of the best cities of Europe, so looking forward to this and also getting outside of the uh, capital city is the whole plan and see more of the country. Okay, D, let's get there. And almost to the gate 86. That was quite a trek getting all the way down here, so good thing that I uh, broke away from the uh, conversation and the beer there and got over here. It is close to boarding time now. And I haven't booked my hotel yet, so uh, Gonna try to do that now.
213. We have landed. You'll find out where soon. A little hint, the language. Big hint there. And another one. And another one. We are in the Czech Republic. Czechia. Prague. Prague. He has one nine. And then I'll be up.